Okay, so adjustment is going to come by way of relaxing the spring tension on the wheel. So the outer wheel is here. This is the sweep arm, and there's an adjustment screw here for the sweep arm. That is actually calibrated at the factory, and you never ever want to mess with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take tension off of the holding spring, and we're going to move the wheel counterclockwise. Now I already did it on this. If you look, here's our reference point from where I started. I adjusted this AFM and it was actually seven clicks out from uh, running in the high 13s. So it was incredibly lean out of the factory and the reason for that is these were calibrated for fuels made in the 1980s and today's fuels are radically different. They're not the same. So what you need to do is you need to look at your air fuel ratio if you have that opportunity and adjust accordingly and it radically changes the performance of your car. Alright, so relax this spring and moving counterclockwise will make it richer. Okay, I'm going to try and do this. It's kind of hard to move without a screwdriver. Okay. So, I don't have anyone to hold the camera for me, so I'm going to do it this way. Let's see if I can do this. Okay. Now, there it is. Okay. Going counterclockwise, turning to the right, makes the mixture richer because you're relaxing the spring. Okay. So, here's another one. Now, don't, don't do it this way. I'm doing this one-handed because there's no one to hold the camera. And so, if you go clockwise, then what you are doing is you are making the mixture leaner. And most of these cars fail in California and other states because of high knocks. And that is because they are just lean. Just horribly lean. And that's never good. Alright, so there's how to adjust the uh, wheel. And... Uh, I hope this helps.